The Alcantara told me you refused to release the money I demanded for. What happened? A whooping sum of five million naira. Don't you think that's too much? <laughs> too much for who? For me? <laughs> Cindy, you must be joking. Please, sign the necessary papers. Let him release the money for me. Because I don't want to disturb the serenity of this environment. Henry, I gave you two million naira just three weeks ago. So what? I, I know you're coming back for five million naira. Come on. If I continue funding this your extravagant lifestyle, what will become of this company? Cindy, if I must remind you, this is our father's company, not your personal company. Okay. Do you know that? Fine and gold. Gold. So if you know it's our father's company, then you should be worried about how much you're spending. You should be worried about your, your irresponsible behavior and how it affects this company negatively. Now listen to me. Just release the money for me before I do something nasty. Because I need this money tomorrow unfailingly. And if I did not get it, see the, if I did not get this money tomorrow, you will be shocked at what I would do. Is this how this guy is going to keep taking money? Just like that? No, I'm not giving you any money. No. about Henry that his extravagant lifestyle is becoming overboard like it's getting too much if he continues with this extravagant lifestyle and the company keeps funding it then we are likely to go bankrupt just three weeks ago I gave him two million naira from the company I released it to him and now he's back asking for another five million naira dad it's not healthy for this company. That boy, Harry. That boy is becoming a thorn in my flesh. And I don't know what to do about him. If he's responsible, he should be the one doing what you are doing. But instead, he chooses to be irresponsible. Anyways, um, handle him the best way you can. I'll talk to him later. Good. 
I'm trying to handle him the best way I can. Please do. I'll shut up to him. It's okay, Daddy. So tell me, how are you? Well, um, I'm trying to be fine. You need to be fine. Oh yeah, I'm and fine. You need to rest as much as you can, right? Oh, I'm doing that. I'm doing that, my dear. I'm doing just that. <laughs> so tell me, what do you want? Fruits, juice, oh. smoothie. I really don't need anything anymore. Dad, I insist. You need fruits, and I'm going to get fruits for you right now. Is that well, okay? If you insist. I insist. It's okay. Okay. manager at the other branch. Yeah. He said Mr. Henry is causing trouble. That he stopped them from working except he gets the money he signed. He Henry, me. again, what is wrong with this guy? What is, what is wrong with this guy? Hello, Henry. Henry, what is going on? Why did you go to the other branch to cause problems? What's your problem? Come to my office. Let us talk. Henry. Henry, you, you shouldn't be doing this. This is wrong. Henry. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just hold, hold, wait, wait. Let's go to the accountant. Tell him to release the funds to Henry's account right now. Tell him okay, to sign, do all the documentation. She just released the money. Did you hear? A son does not protect his father's wealth, but chooses to be wasteful. How can how can you go to the company that you're supposed to manage and protect and stop them from working just because you want money to fund your wasteful lifestyle? Henry, look at the way your sister is managing my company. Or you choose to be irresponsible and stupid instead of joining her to manage my company. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Now tell me, is this how you're going to manage my company when I'm gone? Is it? Henry, I am highly disappointed in you. In fact, you make my heart bleed. You make my heart bleed. You have done so well reporting me, right? Hope you are satisfied now. Your Excellency, the manager herself, the only star of Chief Edward's family, Mmm. 
the apple of daddy's eye. I greet you. Well done, ma. So because you are managing father's company, you feel so important, right? Just because you are managing our father's company, you feel like queen of the coast or what I don't know. Fine. But listen, everything does not revolve around you. Just, just listen to yourself. Look at how irresponsible you sound. Listen to yourself. When are you going to stop being a boy and grow up? Grow up and be a man. You should actually be trying to fit into father's shoes right now. But I don't see those shoes fitting you at all. You're being so irresponsible. When are you going to grow up and be a man? Stop being a boy. Stop it. Look at what daddy just said. That you make his heart bleed. That's not fair. That's not fair. Did you just hear that? Hmm. You are asking me if I am still a boy. Right? Oh, I'm not a boy. I am a girl. Oh, really? You actually look like a girl. After all, look at your hair. I am a girl. Yes. Can't you see? You put more interest in your hair Can't than you in your final company. I am a girl. You, you look like a girl already. Then you are a boy. Whatever. Okay, no problem. But you are cool now, right? You know what? Go and tell daddy to come and cut off my head so that you can win a award. No wish. Can just be responsible. You need to sign. You don't need to sign like you want. Come out. Who says? Good day, sister. Huh? What are you doing here? Your school should still be in session. Yeah, it's still a session, but they asked me to go. They asked you to go? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, they asked you to go? They said I'm into court-related activities. What? Kelvin? Yeah. Again? Can you even listen to yourself? Kelvin, you were sent out of your previous university due to cultism. And then father paid so much to get you into this new university and you're doing the same thing again that they had to send you away. Again! Again, Kelvin! It's not that, like I did anything that will make them expel me. Oh, really? You must be talking to a kid. You didn't do anything for them to expel you and then they expelled you, right? Not actually. Not actually. Look at you. Do you know how much father paid to get you into this new university? And now they've expelled you again. Gosh. Do you even have pity on your father? Do you? Why are you guys like this? You and Harry. Why are you guys such a pain in the neck? Why? Why? Gosh. Just, just, just get, get out of my side. Get out. Get out. Rubbish. Nonsense. Irresponsible fool. Doing great. Okay. Sister, I would like to have some money. I don't have any cash on me. Kelvin, there is no money. The company is almost going bankrupt. For what? What's that supposed to mean? That you can't give me any money? What do you mean for what? I don't have any money to give you. The best I can do for you is let you work because there's a vacancy in the company right now. Fill up that space and make some money for yourself. That's Must it. I work in my father's company? You have to work in your father's company because if you go elsewhere, they won't give you the job. You know you're a dropout. I'm actually doing you a favor here. What kind of wickedness is it? The money you're holding is our father's money. It's not as if it's your father alone. And you're doing manager on top of the money. Huh. Yes, I agree. It's our father's money. And I am actually working for our father. And I get paid from the work I do. And that is why I'm telling you to work. 
when you work, you earn money. That is how to make money. You don't just sit down and ask for money. Get up, work, and you get paid. That is it. Take your job. I'm not interested. Oh, well. I take my job. I take my money. Marry my son. Father. I I called you because um, your behavior is bothering me seriously. You know how I struggled alone to train you people when your mother died? And when my wife, your mother, died, I refused to remarry just because um, I do not want another woman to treat my children badly. I went the extra mile. I did my best. I made sure that all your needs are met. I showered you with love and material things. But um, you grew up to punish me, how? to become a thorn on my flesh. Father, how? Look at the way you are rewarding me for all I have done. You live an extravagant life, spend money recklessly, without minding what the future holds for the company you are milking. Your elder sister is the one managing my company. When I have a son like you, who should be in charge? Rather, you choose to run it down. Henry, I want you to answer me sincerely. Do you want me to die before my time? Oh no, Father, you cannot die before your time. Nothing will happen to you. Henry, something will happen to me if you do not retrace your steps. Father, I am very, very sorry. I will try and retrace my steps. Please. Please do, Henry. Please. So that you can take good care of my business. I will try, Father. Your sister is, is only but a girl. Someday soon she will marry and leave. It's okay, Father. I will try. I'll try my best. I'll try. I'll be waiting to see changes. I'm so sorry, Father. punishing me with these children. What have I done to deserve all this? God, God you, you were the one that gave them to me. Please help me. Done anything intentional or unintentional, please forgive me. Oh, how I miss my dear wife. If she were to be here, maybe these children might have turned out well. What was I supposed to do that I did not do? Where did I go wrong in their upbringing? Where? Hey. 
Madame. Musa. Madame. Where is the SUV that usually parks here? Madame, Ogaka will come out with the car yesterday, but he not return with him. What? Are you serious? Yes, madame. I did sure. Now I'm going to for her yesterday. Okay. Go back to your duty post. Okay, madame. Kelvin, where is the SUV that usually parks here? I sold it. You did what? I said I sold it. Did I not ask you for money? But you refused. So I needed money to take care of my, my bills and my debts. Kelvin, how could you have done that? How could you sell that his car? What is all of this? Do you people want to kill this man? Do you want to kill him? Well, I don't want to kill anyone. All I needed is money. So when I come back to you, and request for money and you refuse to give give me money. Yours will be next online. You're very stupid for saying that. Whose will be next online? Yours. Your You're car, very mad. Your car will be next online. I promise you. You're stupid. I promise you, your car will be next online. How could you have sold that this car? Did you didn't even tell him? You just took the car and drove up and went to sell. Don't worry. You are your mad. Car, your car will be next online. Trust me, you don't need to go on for me. Trust me. What kind of nonsense is this? Don't worry, we shall see. You'll see what? This guy is so aggressive. What kind of rubbish is this? Why is guy behaving like this in this house? Can I have his brothers? Why did he behave like this? What kind of, what kind of, what kind of nonsense is this? God. How am I going to tell my dad? If he finds out, how is he going to feel? Edna. Hello, Cindy. Are you okay? Edna, I am not okay. What is wrong with you? It's Kelvin. Kelvin just sold that car without his knowledge. For what? Why would he do that? I don't know. I don't know. He just asked me for money. And I told him, I, I don't know. He only asked me for money and I told him I don't have. That he should come and work in the company since there's vacancy there so he can get paid. And the next thing I knew, he sold the car. Just like that. What kind of person does that? Kelvin. Kelvin is the only person that can just wake up and sell his father's car because he needs money. Gosh. He needs to be arrested. So he can, so he can go retrieve it from the buyer. <sighs> That's where the problem is. Edna, I cannot arrest him. I don't want anything that would affect my father's health negatively. If I do that, 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 would, that would hurt him so bad. <sighs> so what will you do about it? I don't know. You know what? I don't know. What? Just calm down, okay? I'll come and see you later today. I don't want you to think too much. Stay calm. 
I'll come and see you, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. to go out this morning to the office and I noticed that um, my SUV was not in the garage. Did you go anywhere with it? Mm, yes. I did that. I, I drove it out this morning. Yes, then it was making this very funny sound. I felt really uncomfortable with the sound so um, I had to call the mechanic to fix it. So that's what they're doing right now. The sound wasn't good at all. Funny sound? Ah, Very funny sound, Dad. That's strange. But that car is new and barely six months. So why will it develop fault? I don't know that. You know how, Dad, you know how these things can be now. It's machine. Anything can happen to a machine, you know? It's man-made. Well, if you say so. Uh, I hope it's not something that is going to take too long for them to fix. Uh, no, no, not too long. Just a few days. Just a few days, Dad. It's okay. Yes. And, and Daddy, hey, don't forget we have the Board of Directors meeting tomorrow at the office at 1 p.m. Cindy, the, the, let's talk about that later. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that later. Seriously, I am not happy with the way things are going. I'm not pleased at all. I mean, you are the first son here. Okay. Why don't you just man up and act like one? Act like one. Take up the responsibility of a first son. <laughs> the other day, your brother sold our father's car. And I'm sure you heard about it. But you did nothing. Nothing. Why did you not stop him from selling daddy's car? Why? Why will I stop him? Why? Didn't he ask you for money and you turned him down? I turned him down? Yes. I didn't turn him down. I only offered him a job in father's company. That way he can get paid monthly. Is that not better? But why would you ask him to do that? Wait. Are you serious right now? I am seriously serious. Why, why will you ask him to do that? Oh, so working in father's company is not good, but squandering his money is good, right? Cindy, must everybody work in our father's company? Eh? Stop that story, okay? Just stop all those long stories you're telling. Try and be generous to your brothers. Give us money when we ask. Give us money! Remember, you are the apple of daddy's eye. If I may ask, is it really difficult to give? Please, keep on working and making money for him so that your brother can spend and be happy. Spending money makes us happy. Oh. What is the money made for? The money is made for spending. So allow us to spend the money. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you intend to do about that car that you sold? What do you want me to do? I have sold the car already. And there's nothing I can do about it. What do you mean there is nothing you can do about it? I called you the day you sold that car and I told you to retrieve the car. Because I'm sure you still had money on you then. Half Why didn't you? Half of the money was already gone by then. I owed someone I played bass from. So I used half of the money to pay off my debt. Wait, wait, wait. Kelvin! Please, Kelvin, you now play betting games? Please, please. Oh, what? You 
It's not a big deal. Most of everyone is living. It's not a big deal? So you had the mind to sell your father's car and then you used the money to pay up the debt you incurred from playing betting games? Because, Kelvin! Because you refused to give me what rightfully belongs to me. <sighs> Kelvin, that company is our company. His money is our money. But we have to come together as a family and work in this company so that the money can grow. Not waste it. I've told you several years. I don't want to work in, in that company. I'll get myself a job. Which job? Which job? Must you know everything? Kelvin! What is wrong with these people? <laughs> Sincerely, you're trying dealing with this, your brothers. I mean, I can't handle people as irresponsible as they are. <laughs> my dear, what do you want me to do? They are my blood now. I cannot throw them away. I can't throw them away. I know, but they are so irresponsible. I agree. They are. Do you know that that car Kelvin sold? Hmm. He used the money that he got from selling the car to offset a bill he incurred from gambling. You can't be serious. I'm telling you. They even gamble. Ah, they gamble. And then my father has been asking me about his car every day. I keep telling him one story or the other about the car being at the mechanic shop. Eh? I don't even know what else to say. A car that was bought brand new, not even up to six months ago. What kind of lie is this one I'm even telling? Very soon I'll run out of lies. No, 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 babe. Honestly, if you ask me, I think you have to tell him the truth. The earlier the better. Yes, you have to. I just don't want him to get hurt. You know, he may just start thinking too much, get worried, fall sick. I don't want that man to die early. Hey? Oh, wow, my dear, you have to tell him the truth. Okay, you have to. Yes, hello. Yes, good morning. Who's this? Oh, DPO, how are you? My son, Kelvin. Well, I'm not aware of this, but um, you're free. You're free to carry on with your arrest. I cannot obstruct the law. Though I have not set my eyes on Kevin for the past two days. It's okay, DPO. No problem. Anyway. Well, if he has done anything that warrants an arrest, I can't stop them. know why those boys are so irresponsible causing that poor man heart attack i don't know it just baffles me 
You know, my father is always worried about his sons. You know, thinking about his sons. He keeps thinking about them, worrying about them day in, day out. And it's so scary because I don't want him to get, you know, it's just, I don't know. He worries about them too much. Have you, have you tried talking to them, like reasoning with them, mm -hmm. you know? I have tried to do all of that. I have scolded them a few times. I've done everything. I've said everything I can say. But it doesn't change anything. You know they are adults. This is serious. If your mom were to be alive, I'm sure she would help Okon. My mom. You know, my mom would have been shattered. You know my mom is a soft-hearted person. Hey, it would have been hell for her. Now oh. oh, wow. So, how do you manage your dad's company with this your regular extravagant lifestyle? The funny part, the worrisome part of it now is that this company is going bankrupt. And I don't even want to tell my father because if I tell him, hey, it will just aggravate things, like, it may just kill him. So I'm trying to hide it from him and manage the things, like manage the situation on my own. It's not wow. easy at all. My dear. I'm sure your dad would be so happy to have you. Mm -hmm. I mean, without you, he would have been forgotten by now. Your brother would have killed him a long time ago. Uh, yeah, my daddy is lucky. And he keeps saying that he's lucky to have me. Every day, he just thanks God for having me. He's so happy, he's mm -hmm. grateful to God, you know. <laughs> ah, you're trying, babe. Keep doing the good work. Mm, I'm trying. I'm I keep trust trying. you. Yeah, I Thank trust you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How are you? How are I'm you fine. Doing? You know how stressful my work has been lately? Huh? Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Smile for me, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby. Come on, smile. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Uh, that reminds me, you were telling me something about Cindy on phone. Yeah. Cindy's father's company has been facing a lot of financial issues. And she's planning on getting a loan. I would want you to help her on a low interest rate. Please. But I think her company is a big one. Why look for a low interest rate loan? Babe, you and I know no matter how big a company is, it doesn't like low expenditures. They thrive on profits. Come on. I will see what I can do. Yes. Thank you so much. I just know I'm doing it because of you. You know I love you so much. And I love you too. And Thank I want your happiness. Baby, thanks a lot. I really appreciate. You're welcome. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. I, I did. I, I found out that um, almost all the projects we have at hand are at its um, completing phase. How come? <laughs> yes, Dad. 
I had to take a loan from a bank to facilitate all those projects we had and get them done. Then you know we built this reputation over the years. We built an image we must protect. And when people start to look at us like we're going bankrupt, it won't be good. So this was just the best thing to do. Get the projects done, sell them off, make profit, build another one. Wow. <laughs> You're such a business guru. Um, but um, do you think this is the best thing to do? Oh, absolutely, Dad. Absolutely. It's the best decision. Dad, trust me. Trust me, Dad. So when, when actually did you take this loan? That was three months ago. Three months ago? Okay. I hope you are making the company pay the interest. Of course, Dad. We are paying interest. Although I was able to get the low interest loan from my friend. So it's kind of easier for us. So we just pay with ease, kind of. Hmm. <laughs> that is my business inclined and um, intelligent daughter. Yes, Papa. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. It's okay. Um, that's what I want to talk to you about. I think I need to retire upstairs now. Let um, me get some rest. You want to get some rest? Yes. Yes. Okay, Daddy. I'll come check on you soon. It's all right. Good afternoon, Cindy. <clears throat> Hi. Well, I am fine. Cindy, I, I need some money. I don't understand you. What don't you understand in my simple statements? I said I need money. Well, I don't have money to give you to waste. <laughs> to waste? How do you mean by that? Is it your money or is it your waste? So why are you sounding like that? Henry, it's our father's money. Good. It is our company's money. Beautiful. So I'm not going to give it to you to waste. So you know it's our father's money, but you are doing managing director on top. Cindy, fine. You are a managing director in our father's company, but you cannot manage and direct me on what I should do with our father's money. Not at all. Okay? Listen, like I said earlier, I need to rest. Can you just excuse me? Henry, give me a break, please. Cindy, you know how my request can be. You know how my request can be. I don't want to repeat myself. Do you understand? Give me that money today. If you not give me that money today, I will change it for you. Be sober a month now. Look, you see money for my hand. You did ask me whether I see money for your hand. Eh? You know, say Papa Moto, three million. Three million, just only the ordinary hundred K. You know, go forgive me. Money I use in gambling and paying my debts. I don't have money. I will pay your money. Don't worry. Will you kill me because I'm only your ordinary hundred K? You have the temerity to ask me question, Kelvin. You are asking me if I will kill you. Yes! I will kill you. So you better give me the money now or else I will kill you. Kill me if you want to kill me. Kill me if you want to kill me. Kelvin. This is the money for my hand. Kelvin, you are opening eye for me. Kelvin, you are opening your eyes for me. Don't you sell our father moto three million naira? Three million! But just hundred k that you borrow from me, you don't want to pay. Is that no wickedness? Eh? Is that no wickedness, Kevin? Okay, I'll, I'll pay your money. 
Okay, now listen Just to me. Free me, I'll pay your money. Free me. Now listen. Kevin, listen. I am giving you 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And if you did not pay the money, your car because um you know your car is still at the mechanic it's been fixed in fact on my way back from the office i stopped by at the mechanic to check on your car and they are fixing it really nicely trust me um by next week your car will be ready okay dad all right Cindy, why didn't you tell me your brother sold my car? Um, that you know. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I I knew you would be heartbroken if you hear it, and I didn't want you to feel that kind of pain. What difference does it make now? Is my heart not broken already? No, I, I was planning to get you a new car before you even get to find out. I'm sorry, Dad. With, with which money? Which money are you planning to get me a new car with? Well, we have a lot of projects at hand. And the company is right now running low on cash. I knew if you should hear this, your heart would be broken. Cindy. Cindy, Natalia. You didn't get this right. I'm sorry. Kevin. Kevin, I did not kill my parents. Oh, well, here you are. You are your brother. Trying to send me to my heavy grave. Father, 
Dad, please, tell your lovely daughter to give me the money I'm asking for. I will not allow her to hold the money that does not belong to her alone. Father, I, I am talking to you. Please, tell Cindy to give me the money I asked for. Because I don't want to go and sell any of your car like Kelvin did. Oh, yes. Dad, are you listening to me at all? Dad, you are not responding to me. Okay. Dad, if I do anything now, I know you people will not like what I will do. If I should do anything now, I know you people will not like it. Okay. 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 You are just an idiot. A big fool. Okay, Dad. Okay, but... Um, Daddy, do you think it's the right thing to do? Uh, like, the best thing to do as it is? What else should I do? when he has been expelled from school because of courtism. And the police are currently looking for him because of the same courtism. I think it's the best thing to do. I mean, fly him abroad and um, everybody will have a um, rest of mind. Yeah, that makes sense. It really does make sense. But do you think he's going to agree to that? He has no option. He has no other option. I mean, Staying here will be very dangerous for everybody. Who knows what else he will do? He might even do worse. You're right, Papa. But, I mean, is this the solution really, thinking about it? I mean, moving him to another country, would that make him stop what he's doing? I thought about that too, but at least that would make him responsible for whatever he does. If he commits any crime that involves imprisonment, they will imprison him and there will be nobody there to help him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right, Dad. At least there he will know that he has nobody to help him and that could make him become more responsible. That's exactly my point. You know, seeing us around him and uh, helping him whenever he gets into trouble gives him some kind of confidence and. Uh, yeah. Encourages um, his irresponsibility somehow. Because he would feel like, oh, I have my dad. My dad will save me. My sister would come for me. There's the, ah, yeah, you're right. But out there, he will face the music by himself. All alone. Whatever. That's correct. I agree. Can't, can't afford to allow him to stay here. Calm down, Papa. Calm down. These boys are really giving me hell. <sighs> That's why you have me, Dad, right? <laughs> it's alright. Well, um, <clears throat> I called all of you here to tell you about my plans. Because um, recently, Kevin and um, Henry have been behaving badly. And their behavior, if care is not taken, might um, take me to my early grave. For the past um, few months now, the police have been searching for Kevin. And the only reason they are not so keen about um, searching and arresting even you is because of me. If not for my kind of person, they would have arrested you long ago. So for such reasons, um, I've decided to send this young man here abroad to go and stay. So when you get there, commit all sorts of crime. The choice is yours. Dad, how can you decide to send me abroad without my consent? Where is that done? Who does that? I am not seeking for your opinion here, young man. I have made my decision and nothing will alter it. Am I the only one misbehaving? How about Erin? Doesn't he misbehave too? 
Why must it be me all the time? Hey, 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 hey. Kelvin, what's it consign me for inside this matter now? Eh? What's it call consign me for inside this matter now? Please, don't mention my name in your talk. Hey, um, <clears throat> it's okay. Well, um, talking about Harry. Harry is my first son. And I want him to be around so that he can be putting eyes in my business. Since you said um, you are not interested in my business, what else do you want? I'm going nowhere. You can't force an adult to do what he does not want to do. But who is talking about an adult? Under my roof, an adult. Kevin, my son. Dad. I called you out here this night to speak to you like a, a father. You see, um, your sister have told me how you've been insolently speaking to her just because you thought she's the one, she was the one that brought the idea of your traveling. The truth is, uh, I am the one that conceived that idea. And that is because of the numerous things you have been doing and getting yourself involved in. Right now, the police are looking for you. And if you are arrested, it will be very difficult to pay you because you have been arrested several times. The only thing they will do now is to charge you to court and probably jail you for a long time. Don't you think it's the best thing for you to do now? Go out there and then be away from their sight. But dad, you could have asked me if it's what I want before making such a decision. No. You might think it's not the right thing for you right now. But trust me as your father to take the decision that will be beneficial to you. What will I do when I get there? There are a lot of things to be done there, ranging from school, job, and then business. Any business of your choice, I am ready to support you. I will think about it if it's what I can do. Oh, come on. I know you can do it. Yes, Are you not my son? Yes, sir. Oh, come on. You can do it. Hmm? You can do it. Do that and then let's see how things go. Alright, Dad. Dad, can I go to my room? Oh, you're free. You're free. Right. Good night, Dad. It's alright. Good night. Yes, who's there? Please come in. Come in. Hello. Yeah. Um, I'm here to see Cindy. Okay. Come inside, I wait for her. What do you think about having a quickie right here, right now, or maybe in the kitchen before your friend returns? I think you're very silly to think such a thing of me. Yeah, you think I'm one of those your cheap little prostitutes you hang out with? Oh come on, babe, quit the pretense. You see, every woman is a prostitute. Okay, so I can get 
any quality of a woman I so desire, just like I desire you right now. Just count yourself luck. Now I see you out of your senses. Don't you have manners for ladies? Oh baby, come on. We can do this, okay? Just relax. You're beauty. I think you're sick. You're really sick. Relax, baby. Come on. Something I want us to discuss. It's okay. Let's, let's let's talk about it. Um, that <sighs> father. You see. Hey, how dare you? How dare you try to rape my friend that came to visit me? Are you mad? Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Mm -mm, I'm talking to your ghost. How dare you try to force your irresponsibility on my friend? Is something wrong with you? Do Listen, I warn you. Don't you ever try this next time because if you do. If you do, you will have me to contend with. Cindy, did you just say Henry tried to rape Edna? Oh yes, he God. tried. He actually almost raped her. She had to struggle to be free from him, then she ran away. Because of this, this irresponsible human being. Father, I do not understand what she's talking about. Hmm. Henry. Henry, have you also turned to a rapist? Hmm. Father, Cindy's lying. I did not rape anybody. We fell for each other. She wanted me and I wanted her. But along the line, she decided not to do it again. And I left her alone. That's a very big lie. It, it, it's not like I forced her. It's a lie. So you think she did not tell me about how you were trying to force her here and when she struggled, you now offered that if she will not do it in the living room, that you guys should go to the kitchen and do it. That was what you said to her. In my living room? Yes. And the kitchen? Yes, Dad. Cindy is lying. She's lying. It's That's stupid. Oh. Are you mad? Uh. Oh, so, so you can even try such nonsense in the kitchen where the food I eat is prepared. Cindy, what have I done wrong to you? What have I done wrong to you? Why do you always find fault in every part of my life? Jesus. Uh, listen, let me warn you. If you try this rubbish next time, I will first take you to the police and jail you. That you want your son. Warn him because next time he does this, he's going to jail. And I'm serious about it. Warn him. What rubbish is this? Because I've been containing this rubbish. These boys are killing me instrumentally. Why? Why? Or God, why? Is it not better I die and go and have rest? Eh? Where did I go wrong in training these boys? Where? Where did I go wrong? Why? It's okay. Where did I go wrong in training these boys? Where? Oh, yeah. Dad, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It, it, is it not better I die to go and have rest? No. Dad, you can't say that. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to stress you at all. Dad. Haven't, haven't I received enough disgrace and shame from these boys? Haven't I? I'm sorry, Dad. Please calm down. Huh? Remember you have me, Dad. They won't kill you, okay? Please. Please, Dad, calm down. That guy is one hell of a person. How did such thoughts even enter his head? Mm. Honey, 
You see what I've been telling you about my brothers? You see, look at how irresponsible they act. You see it? I just thank God he did not succeed. If he had succeeded, he would have been calling up in the prison yard by now. Even me, I'll make sure he doesn't get a lawyer to bail him out. Exactly. Okay, you know what? I am going to take you out for lunch just so you can forget that incident. <laughs> Bills on me. Uh uh, not just lunch. Dinner inclusive because I've lost so much strength during the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wahala, no problems. I can. Bills on me, girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go. speak to you, he has been issued a visa to, to the United Kingdom. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's good. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. <laughs> I'm going to miss you soon. I'll miss you, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, it's okay. That's wow, that's, that's beautiful. Be living us. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, that are we done? Because yes, that's, that's what I wanted to announce to you. No, so that's that, good. Uh, it will not be uh, <laughs> uh, breaking news. Oh, that's good. That's good because uh, someone is waiting for me outside. Oh, you have a appointment? Yes, I need to attend to him. It's okay. It's okay. Let me run and look. It's all right. All right. Bro, once again, congratulations. Yeah, I'll miss you, bro. All right, thank you. Hey, eh? <laughs> at least, let me be happy. Once in a lifetime. Um, Kevin. Dad. Yeah. Come closer. I I want to talk to you now as um, as a father and as a friend. You see, very soon now you will be leaving your family to a very distant land. And um, right there, none of your family members will be there to watch your back or take care of you. You'll be there all alone. Please, I would not want you to allow the mistakes you made here to repeat itself. Try and shun cultism and its activities, every of them. Humanizing, drug, rape. You see, the reason I'm saying all this is um, that country is not like Nigeria where money and influence perverts um, justice. If you commit any of such crimes there, you'll go to jail. So please, I will advise you to make sure you take your studies very serious and be very responsible. Did you hear me? Yes, Dad. It's okay. Dad, I understand all you said. Can I go now? If you're sure you understood, you can go. All right, Dad. Isn't it better I join my wife? So I can rest from all these troubles. Life has not been fair to me. And I can't bear it any longer. I can't. I can't bear it any longer.
Yo. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, what is it? Come on, why are you crying? Did anything happen? Then tell me. You know I hate seeing you crying. It breaks my heart. Tell me what is going on. Just look at us. For several years now we've been visiting different hospitals. Different doctors to no avail. Am I supposed to be happy? Do you expect me to be happy, Edward? Come on. You see, you and I know the ability of buried children belongs to God Almighty. Not doctor, not medicine or whatever. So, why hasn't he blessed me like he has blessed others? Haven't I been patient enough for God to bless me? Yes. Have I not? Yes. So why? You see, God has his own way of doing something. Okay? Our time will soon come. Don't worry, our time will come soon and I know that. Yeah. You're right. Maybe when I stop menstruating, then he will bless me. God forbid. So that I will have the same story with Sarah in the Bible. God forbid. Hmm? Our time will soon come. Don't worry, stop crying. Yes. Let us adopt a child. I need a child so badly. Please adopt. See, where I come from, hmm? Adopted child will not inherit any property. So what is the need? We are not known for that. Adoption. Nobody is known for adoption, Edward. Nobody. I'm sorry. Okay. Honey, I'm sorry. It's okay. See, listen. Let us adopt. Nobody will know except the two of us. Don't worry. Please. Come, come, come. Honey. Come, don't worry. What are you doing here all alone by this time? I mean, check the time. What is wrong with you? Talk to me. Just give me one reason. Just one reason. A childless woman whose husband has refused the option of adoption won't cry. Gloria, are we still on this adoption matter? I thought I have made my stand to that. Hmm? Is it not better I die? What is life without a child that will take care of me when I grow old? Tell me. Don't talk like that. Hmm? Are you God? Listen, I believe that God will give us our own children at the right time. Okay? Stop panicking. God's time is the best. I am tired of waiting for God's time. Allow me to adopt so I can become a fulfilled woman. I understand. You see? Let's talk about this some other time. But now, let's go to the bed, please. Hmm? Let's go to bed. You want to sleep here? Okay. <clears throat> That means 
we will sleep here together. Why are you not eating, honey? Talk to me. You are not eating. Why? Gloria. Come on. Why are you not eating? I don't want to eat. But why? Why? Why should I eat? I mean, why would I eat when I don't have a child to eat with? I have been eating with you for many years. Are you not tired? Honey, I want a child that will call me mommy and say, Mommy, I'm hungry. I want a child that will say, Thank you, mommy, after eating my food. I want a child that will call me mother. I want a child that will play with me. I want a child. That is okay. It's okay, Gloria. We will get a child. Are you consenting to the adoption? Yes. Are you serious? You can go ahead and adopt the child. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, baby. I love you, I love you, I love you. Anything I love you so much. Anything for you, baby. Anything for you. You know I love you. Yes. <laughs> thank you for making me a fulfilled woman, baby. It's okay. Yeah. So okay, now, I wait. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Come on. I eat now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, okay. I have to keep this. Let's go inside. I'm tired. Mommy, mommy is very tired. I need to go and rest now, okay? So, let's go back inside. Mama, I still want to play. You still want to play? Huh? Huh? But mommy is tired. And daddy will soon come back, so we need to go and fix something, alright? How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome, darling. Mm. Mm. How, How are you, baby? Fine. How was good today? Fine. <laughs> so, how was today? How was work today? Today was good, didn't you? Yeah, it was okay. Mm -hmm. So, morning. Okay, so. Go shower while we set the dining. Yeah, sure. So, what do we have for dinner today? Can you guess? Come on, stop. You know I'm not good at that. <laughs> Cindy, can you tell Daddy what we prepared? Mm -hmm. We prepared your favorite. Are you serious? <laughs> I can't wait. So, let me quickly have my bed now. Ah, uh, yes, yes, please. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What is wrong with you? Are you alright? Hmm. Hmm? I don't know. I've been feeling dizzy since yesterday. Oh my god, yes. Today it became worse. Oh my god. Have you eaten? Hmm. I'm hungry. No appetite at all. Hmm. This is serious. Then we must see the doctor immediately. No, 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 darling. No, not today, please. Tomorrow. Can you manage Nancy tomorrow? Mm, I'll try. I'll go. I can. Are you sure? Yes. I'll try. Oh my goodness. Your body is hot. Okay, let me get your paracetamol for you to reduce your fever, okay? Uh, 
Hello! How are you, man? Baby. How are you doing today? How was school today? Mm -hmm. My dad. Really? <laughs> Mommy will give you a baby brother. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You know that he loves you. Mm -hmm. Daddy will do whatever you want him to do for you. Okay? How are you doing? Fine. And how are you and my children? We're fine. Okay. Baby has been kicking through today. I see it wants to come out. Oh, come with me. So how was work today? Yeah, work was good. You know, you see. Uh, I'll try again. Okay. Alright. Okay. Welcome. So, honey, let's go and eat. No, baby, go on, okay? I'm not hungry. What is it? Are you okay? Mommy will give us another baby. Who told you that, Cindy? Nobody. But you are pregnant. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Come, come, come. You see why I call you my good luck charm? Hmm? Honey, mm -hmm. don't tell me you, you, you are taking this girl seriously. No, oh, why won't I? <laughs> Mommy, I'm pregnant. Oh. Shut up. What do you know about pregnancy? Go, go inside and eat your food. Please, please, can what? we all go and eat now? Please, honey. Okay. Hmm? Forsaken me. Why am I going through all this? My children cannot give me peace. Why can't they give me peace and happiness? After all the sacrifices I've made for them.
had a very severe headache all through the night. I was unable to sleep. Oh my god. That, that must be signs of high blood pressure. That we need to go to the hospital right now. Please. Why won't I develop blood pressure? When I thought Kevin's problems are over, from nowhere, he's back in Nigeria. Do not worry. I'll be fine. Just go to work. Work? Yeah. You mean I should go to work and leave you here? I'll be fine. Dad, that's not possible. You're more important to me than work. You're more important than the company. You come first. I need to go to the hospital and get treated. Please. There's no need for that, please. I'll be fine. Just go to work. Dad, Dad, I'm not going to go to work. And I'm not standing up from here if you don't get up and get ready. Please, Dad. Please, Dad, please, 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 Dad, come, please. I'm really getting better. I'm Dad, no, you said you didn't sleep. Dad, do you know what blood it's pressure, okay. high it's blood pressure? Okay. It's okay, if you insist, it's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad, sorry, Dad. Daddy, how are you feeling? As you can see, I'm feeling better. I can see that. At least I, I slept like a baby. <laughs> That's good. Um, Dad, I wanted to tell you that I will not be at the office tomorrow and day after tomorrow. You know, my friend Edna's wedding is coming up very soon. So I want to help her do some shopping. She really needs my help. How long is that going to be? Just two days. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow. And then I'm back to the office. And so who takes care of the company in your absence? Oh, Daddy. Dad, it's just two days. Just two days. Don't worry. Everything is good. Nothing will go wrong. Trust me. No, no, no. I, I don't have to swallow this loss like that. Anyway, what I'll do is... Um, I'll be at work until you start. No, Dad. You're not going to work. No, Dad, you're still recuperating. You need all the rest you can get. Well, I think I'm stronger now. I'm better. Yes, I agree. You are stronger, but you're not resuming. Dad, trust me. I have everything under control. That company is working on autopilot right now, and I made it so. Dad, you need to trust me. Don't worry. I'll put calls across every hour of the day. If you say so, you are mine to doubt you. I say so, Dad. It's okay. Two days, you said. Two days? Two days, Dad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Okay, Papa. Thank you. What? What is happening here? Dad. Why are you disturbing us? Aren't you supposed to be in your room? Why am I disturbing you? In my house, Kevin! Are you not stupid to ask me that? So you do not have respect anymore? Dad, is that why you slapped me in the presence of my girlfriend? Kevin! One more foolishness from you will love your other slap. Are you mad? Are you this misled Dorothy? Leave my house before I deal with you. Come on! Look at her! Is this what you do in my house? Dad. Dad, how can you discharge my girlfriend like that? This is not fair, oh. It's not fair. I'm going to leave the house for you. I'm going to leave the house for you people. Have you forsaken me? Why? Oh. 
What kind of life is this? For how long will I continue like this? So, babe, how can you tell me that a son of a billionaire doesn't have money? Your father is a billionaire. A son of a billionaire is also a billionaire. You shouldn't oh. be complaining of lack of money. Oh, see, I am not complaining. Flossie, it's like you don't really know me too well. I am Harry Edward, a.k.a. too much money. <laughs> yeah. So That's as a matter of fact, I am a billionaire like my father. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you are talking. So am I going to get the 500000 I asked for? Relax. I'm going to give you the money. <laughs> That's my baby. That's so, when am I going to have it? Um, as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> come here. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Trust me. <laughs> Just need anything. Harry. Father. Where is, where is your sister? She has probably gone to work. Harry, my son. Father. I called you because my... my heart is failing me. And that is because... you and your brother... have given me so much pains... that I have no more reason to live again. Sorry, Dad. Oh. Sorry. Take it easy, Dad. Harry, for long now I've been begging you to look into my business. But you refused. Neither you nor your brother is interested in my business. Rather, it is even there. It is even Cindy, who is not my biological daughter, that is even taking care of my business. I really want to make sure that you, my blood, are the ones taking care of my business so that my legacy can live on. But you refuse. <coughs> sorry, Dad. Sorry. Dad, should I get you water? No, no. I'm fine. Sorry. Father. You mean Cindy is not our biological sister? Oh, I see. But she is not aware. She is not aware. And I wouldn't want you or your brother to tell her anything. Or to even behave badly to her. I don't want you both to give her any reason to. So that's her relationship with you people. Please, keep this information to yourself. Father, I will <clears throat> do exactly as you said. Trust me. Please get me some water. Okay, Dad. Henceforth, you 
address me as your boss. I'm the new managing director and the one in charge. I don't understand, sir. If you disobey me, I will sack you. Now get out. I said get out! and sitting on my chair. What chair are you talking about? You asking me? No, what chair are you talking about? You have a chair here. Or is your name written in any chair? If you have a chair or an office, it should be somewhere else. I advise you to go look for it elsewhere. Listen, Henry, seriously, I don't have time for this. You see this nonsense? I don't have time for it. I am here to work. I have work to do. Just get up. Let me work, please. Get up! My friend, I said leave. You don't have a chair here. You don't have an office. You have nothing. It's you and yourself alone! I don't... What? What are you doing? You, you need to stop this, Harry. You need to stop this right now. How can you be embarrassing me in front of my, my, my employee? <laughs> oh. So you still see yourself as an employer here? Seriously? Madam, I said get out. Leave my office now. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. If you insist, hey. I will do you a favor to employ you as my receptionist. Seriously, this is this is nonsense. I would not stand here and take any of this nonsense. I won't take this. This is rock. Daddy's girl. <laughs> Henry is the one in charge now. Yeah. I am the one in charge now. <laughs> Father, we 
go to your sister's office to embarrass her. Father, I did not embarrass Cindy. But you walked out of her office. Oh, yes. Because it's rightfully mine. Why, why would you do such a thing? Oh, Father, you told me you wanted me to be in charge of your company. Yes. And to manage it. Mm -hmm. And that she's not our biological <coughs> sister. So, I need to make her understand that I'm the one in charge now. Or, My was son. that not you told me? My son, things are not done that way. You need to learn from her so that you can understand how things are done. <laughs> But, Father, I know how things are done. I don't mean to learn from her. Calm down, Nelly. Huh? You don't need to tell your sister all I told you about her. No matter how you feel, you still need to see her as your sister and then learn from her. It's all right, Father. I've heard you. Get me some. Get me some water. In my room, let me take my drugs. Please. Okay, Father. What? Are you sure about that? Kelvin, how, how will I lie about such a thing? How? Dad told me with his own mouth. Yes. So she's not our father's biological daughter and she's acting all bossy. Can you imagine? Kelvin, can you just imagine? But don't worry, okay? Now we can take what rightfully belongs to us. Yeah, you're right. Good. Without having to beg and go through and go through the mighty daughter of our father. <laughs> Kevin, do you know that you are such an intelligent guy? MD is also an abbreviation for mighty daughter <laughs> instead of managing director. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guy, Kevin. guy in a club in tonight. Yeah, sure. To celebrate the position of being the youngest CEO. Trust me, in town. yeah, trust me, tonight is the night. <laughs> I have already withdrawn two million naira for our tonight celebration. Wow. Trust me. You don't mean it. <laughs> I trust you on that. They are making the money, then we are chopping the money. Yeah, you're right. Make money, <laughs> it's the money. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 
sleep last night. How can I sleep? I should have just checked on him. If I had checked on him, I'm sure he wouldn't have died. This wouldn't have happened. No, 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 Cindy, don't say this. <gasps> Listen, even if you have checked on him, what will happen will still happen. Yes, ma, that's the truth. Just take heart. Come on, stop doing this to yourself. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Cindy, stop this. By the way, where are your brothers? Tell me what the problem is. Bro, let's go and check on our father. <sighs> Excuse me. Why, why, why is this gathering? <gasps> Cindy, it's okay, it's okay. Stop crying, it's okay. This is okay. The four plot of land at New GRE will be given to Kelvin Okafor. Two plot of land at Hillview area and the newly built mansion will also go to Kelvin Okafor. My shares at NMPC also will go to Kelvin Okafor. The sixth plot of land at Valley Side goes to Henry Okafo. Another three plots of land at City Lake will also go to Henry Okafo. The, the newly built mansion at Adona Estate will go to Henry Okafo. My real estate. My real estate company will be co-owned by my two sons. My mansion should go to Henry of Kafo. That is my will. I don't understand this will. Why was my name not mentioned in this will? I keep hearing my sons, my sons, like I'm not his child. That is girl. I think you should have known that you are not one of us. The will has clarified it. <laughs> Or didn't you hear him? Um, wait, Barrister. I don't understand. 
Is there something I need to know? Madam Boss Lady, sorry to be disappointed. The only star, the only superstar of Edward's dynasty. Calm down and take it easy, okay? Barrister. Barrister. Please. I'm confused here. It seems like there is something everybody else knows that I don't know. Please tell me. I need to know what is it. Madam Cindy, I believe there is something your late father, Chief Edward, did not explain to you before he died. Yes, uh, obviously. Yes, uh, obviously. Please, can you tell me? I, I need to know, please. I'm confused. It seems like I'm floating in the air. Please tell me. Madam Cindy, if I'm to advise you, as a lawyer, I will advise you to move ahead. Forget whatever has happened. When there is life, there is hope. You still have a long way to go. Please. Move ahead? How do I go on? If I do not know where I'm coming from, I need to know where I'm coming from so that I can know where I'm going. Calm down. Please tell me, please. I need to know, please. Okay, okay. If you must know, your late father, Chief Edward Okafo, told me you were adopted many years ago. When his wife, when his late wife was seeking for fruit of womb. But after your adoption, his wife conceived and gave birth to Henry and Kevin. Meaning you are not his biological daughter. Though I try my possible best to convince him at least, at least, to will something for you, but he refused and there is nothing I can do. Please, just, just fold your head. There is hope. Please. No! No! Please. life being unfair and who I'm gonna tell my story because I'm dying in pain and life is too short but my head seems to be shorter I'm left alone in the wilderness, going to a known destination. Griefs and agony has taken over me. Ooh, I'm dying in pain, and my trusted ones have left me alone. Oh, who is gonna hear my stories? And who is gonna be there for me? Somebody oh, what is still keeping this girl? 
What? Why is the food not yet ready? What's going on? <laughs> Do you think boss lady knows how to cook? Maybe she's using a cookbook. That's why it's taking her so much time to prepare the food. Kelvin, Kelvin, you are very intelligent. <laughs> yeah. You might be right. It's possible. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, here yeah, she comes. Oh, she, she comes. What are you still waiting for? Eh? I said, what are you still waiting for? Please get out. Can't you hear me? I said, leave! She's so stupid. Now, can you imagine? <laughs> Maybe she still wants to shield with the big boys. Yeah, she wants to bomb her. <laughs> Please, let's eat. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Cindy. Hey. How was your night? Why do you care? Yeah, because I like you. <laughs> um, honestly, you are so beautiful. Can I make you my lover? of your mind. No. I am not. Do you know I can give you that lifestyle you are so used to only if you can let me into your honey wilderness. God forbid. I will never sleep 
with you. Even if you're the only man in the world. Have you forgotten that you're my brother? Hey, 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 Cindy, spare me that pretense, okay? Spare me that pretense. In case if no one has told you, we are not siblings. You were adopted into this family. Therefore, we have no blood relationship. Come on. You are so despicable. Gosh. Please get out of my sight. What for? Cindy, take it easy. Calm down. I said get out of my sight. Get out! Cindy, we can do this. Okay? May God have mercy on you. Take it is unbelievable. <laughs> Cindy. I can no longer condone you in this house. Go and look for somewhere else to stay. Who do you think you are? Can you imagine? Who do you think you are? You think you are so beautiful? Oh. I'm even trying to package you if I can take you along. Just you are, you are look at how you are showing yourself. I love the smile, or you love the picture. I love everything about you. <laughs> I love this one too. Love this one? Oh, so nice. Oh my god, thank you, baby. Um, baby, it's something I need to tell you. What's that? Baby, I got a call from Cindy earlier today. I think there's something wrong with her. How do you mean? Cindy, your friend I know is very strong. How come you're telling me she's not strong? Yeah, Cindy, my friend, is very strong. But she sounded so emotional and urgent on the phone. So what do you think is wrong with her? I wouldn't know. Because the last time I spoke with her was a few months after her father's burial. She was okay. So, I wouldn't know what the problem might be. Why well, you trying to reach out to her phone? I know what the problem is. What is that to be? <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> baby girl. Yeah, baby. Aww, you're hungry? Oh, yes. So tell me, which will be hungry? I do that. <laughs> Some of our clients are redrawing their contracts. And what is Mr. Ade, the branch manager, doing about this? My hands are tied. He visited Mr. Henry several times to discuss the way forward, but since he's not interested, all he's interested about is money, money, money. Not minding where the money is coming from. Well, my hands are tied too. But ma, isn't there something you can do about it? Something like, something like coming back so that things can start working again. Because some of our staffs are even resigning due to non-payment of their salaries. <sighs> well, I, I'm sorry. There is nothing I can do. My hands are very, very much tied. Family. I don't have any siblings. I don't 
that have parents and have relatives. I'm all alone. All alone in this world. I don't understand. Make it clearer. Mr. Edward and his wife after many years of waiting for a child without result, adopted me. But after they adopted me, they had Harry and Kelvin. I'm sure he must have told Harry and Kelvin about this prior to his death. That's the reason their behavior towards me has changed. Really? <laughs> Really? How could he possibly do a thing like that, knowing how irresponsible his sons are? That is not even the main issue. Do you know that his will was read? And nothing, nothing was given to me. Not even the company that I worked hard to build. A company I suffered for with all my sweat, all my energy, all my time. I put everything into that company, even my salaries. Everything went into that company. I got loans, I've been stressed, I've been under pressure for this company. Even now, I don't have anything because of this company. Everything I have, I put back. Everything I get, I put back into this company. They didn't give me anything, nothing. I'm just here, empty. You can't be serious. Have I ever lied to you before? I can't fathom this. What manner of wickedness and inhumanity is this? Talk about Henry. Do you know that Henry has tried to rape me what? severally in this house? Can you believe that? Can you? Oh, so pathetic. Unbelievable. <sighs> Henry did this. Listen, I, I need your help. Can I come and stay at your place for a while? Just until I get a job and I can get a place of my own. My sanity and my safety is at risk in this house. Please. Listen, Cindy. It's okay. I'll talk to my husband about this. And I believe he would allow you to stay with us. Okay? Trust me. Come on, baby girl. Cheryl, okay? I'll do this. Okay? Those guys are terrible. Can you imagine? Honestly, they are. So, what does she intend to do now? Well, she asked if she could come and stay with us for some time. So, she would look for a job, save up something, and rent a place to stay. Well, she's your friend. And friends are needed in time like this. Yeah. Thank you so much, Johan. I really appreciate. <laughs> Anything for you, baby. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Get something to eat. Yeah. Uh, there's no food here. Doesn't mean food is not yet ready. Always. 
Where is this girl? Cindy! Cindy! Where is she? She's not there. What's going on? This girl is not at home. She's where, not around. Where do you think she went to? How do I know? How? I know she must surely come back because she has nowhere to go to. <laughs> not even a family to return to. Which family? Does she even know her family? Definitely. She will surely come back. Yes, she will definitely come back. She will continue to serve us because she saw us leave. She's a nobody. She's a nobody. That's an addiction to a bastard. <laughs> you can say that again. The only apple of daddy's eye. She's more or less a bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't worry, she will come back. She will come back. How did it go? Oh, man. It didn't go well at all. At all. But why? You're satisfied with working experience. That is the irony of the whole thing. Guess what they said to me? What? That I am overqualified. Have you heard that before? That I am overqualified because I have a BSc and MSc. So what I'm, the, the position I'm looking for in the company, I have more than I should have to be there. Does it even make sense? Can you imagine? Too bad. Huh. And then the only person that wanted to even give me a try said that I should make out with him first before he gives me the job. Gosh. I mean, how would I see someone who is qualified? And they're calling it overqualification. Then they see someone who's underqualified, they will still complain. First of a country is this. It's a mess. Ah. <laughs> Nothing just works in this country. Nothing works. At all. Well, it's okay. Freshen up, okay? Let me go get something for you to eat. Mm. Come on, cheer up. Okay? Cheer up. You'll be fine. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Cindy. Yeah. Take a look at these vacancies and this paper. Oh, he bought it yesterday. And it's a recent one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, Jerry. Wow. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> these are quite interesting vacancies, though. Yeah, they look really interesting. <laughs> I'll apply. Uh-uh. These are very big positions though. I just wish it turns out well. Well yeah, very well. I'm optimistic. Yeah. Yes, I hope so too. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe. Oh, I think I'll test it. <laughs> you know, I love you so, so, so much. Are you sure? I am sure, for real. Anyways, I can't doubt you. Do you know why I like you? Okay, tell me. Because you know how to use the money. Oh, you know how to take care of baby me. girl, come on. You can say that again <laughs> and again. Mm. Give it to me, come on. Mm. So what is it? A man and a lady came to the office this afternoon, so they dropped this envelope. I came to give it to you. And uh, what is the content of that envelope? Um, I don't know, but I think it's from the bank. From the bank? Yes, sir. Okay. Drop it and get out. Yes, sir. Get out! Can you just imagine? Everybody come on. Sorry. It's so just sorry. Daddy. It's okay. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. So sorry for the distraction. 
No problem. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Sure. <laughs> Hey babe, how did this go? Cindy, Cindy, hmm? oh. you're back. When did you return? Cindy, what's wrong with you? Huh? I'm sorry, I, I was just lost in thoughts. Mm. Always lost in touch. I have told you to stop thinking. You will get yourself high blood pressure. Huh? So what would you have me do? What? To calm you down and to understand that everything will soon be fine. So tell me, how did it go? <laughs> Bad. Bad as usual. Like, very bad. Same story. All the time. <sighs> Listen, babe, it's okay. Okay? It's okay. Come on, everything will be fine. I believe God is in control. Very soon, everything will fall back in place. Okay? God is in control. Just cheer up, baby girl. Cheer up. Stop doing this. Huh? Cheer up. It's just so hard to keep fit. Easy, 
Don't spray too much. 